Hello, so in part four, we started working on creating the skin texture. By embossing the texture into the paper and then using the pencils over the top. In this part, we will expand on this by applying the same technique to the trunk. I start by applying texture with the dart using a tight circular or figure of eight pattern. Before using the 4B to apply darker tone to the recesses and folds of the skin. Again using the 4B pencil, I now dab tone over the texture on the edge of the folds. You can see, I have again used the post-it notes on the reference photograph to isolate the area that I am working on. I then use the putty eraser to just highlight some areas. I reposition the post-it notes above the next marking that I will be working on. Using the 2B pencil, I draw in a few more wrinkles and repeat the same process. Applying the texture with the dart, then darkening some of the wrinkles and folds with the 4B pencil, before again dabbing the 4B over the edges, as this will create a textured transition. The 4H is then used for finer wrinkles and the putty eraser to highlight. I then work over the top of the head adding more tone and shape, as well as adding more finer detailed wrinkles. For the darker, thicker wrinkles, you first want to use a 2B pencil to build a darker tone. You do not want the grain of the paper to show through in the wrinkle itself, so don't be afraid to use the pencil a bit firmer in this instance. Use the dart to apply texture over the area. Remember to use a tight circular or figure of eight pattern when doing this to emboss the texture into the paper. For the darker area to the right, I apply 4B pencil over the top to reveal the texture. I again reposition the post-it notes, so I can easily see the area that I am working on next. This is a very simple way to be able to keep track of where you are working particularly in very complicated areas like this. Basically, it makes your life a lot easier when you only have a small part of the picture to concentrate on and not get distracted by other parts of the picture. The technique of embossing texture is very versatile as it can be used to create a wide range of effects, from skin texture to fur and feathers as well as also being able to be used to create textures such as wood and rock. Basically, if you can see a texture in a picture, it can be recreated. The putty eraser again is a very versatile tool. In this instance, it is used to add shape by lightening the edge of some of the wrinkles. As you can see, I simply roll a fine point on the eraser and this can be used to draw out tone. Remember. It is important to only work in small areas at any one time, particularly when doing the embossing, as your hand can start to ache if you spend too long doing this. The 4B pencil is just used lightly to dab in some slightly darker tone on the edges of the wrinkles, before using the 2B to apply some more subtle tone in other areas. I now continue this process to slowly build up the desired shape that I want to create. The sharp 4H is again used to draw in any finer wrinkles, and this will emboss them down into the paper. I use the 4B to just add a bit more darker tone on the left hand side. and use the putty eraser to lighten some parts and again this will add shape. To finish I can now look at the trunk as a whole area. 
and just make any alterations that I need to by using the pencils and putty eraser. Hopefully you can start to see the texture that has been built up. Skin texture is a really simple pattern to create and is very effective, but unfortunately it takes a long time to do. Next time I will start to work around the eyes and the tusks. As usual, links in the description below for the materials that I use and recommend. I will earn a small commission from anything that is purchased at no extra cost to you. This really helps the channel to grow and is very much appreciated. So I hope you found this video useful. Any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.